Welcome back to another Monday online drummer.com drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown. This is the first Monday lesson of 2014. We just released in 2014 Dawn's video course companion to her book, Chart Topping Drum Fills, the 60s through today. So if you've uh, gotten this book already, make sure you check out the video course companion. Or if you're thinking about getting the book, check it out. It contains over two and a half hours of video. Don plays every drum fill and exercise in here, as well as some introductions to the, the techniques and concepts. We'll start with number one, uh, because starting with number two would be, well, number two would be number one. This is a syncopated drum fill pattern, and what that means is that not everything is on the downbeat. The one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. It's got some of the up feel, or in the off strokes. Da -da. Or the E's and the uh's. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to play a groove for three beats, and then I'm going to play uh, drum fill number one. The bass drum just continues that one, two, three, four. And the snare drum, one, eight, and two, and a three, and four, eight, and. It's almost having the same pattern three times in a row. And then, and then one more time, except you leave off the last hi-hat. I included the counting on there in case that helps. One E and two and a three and four and. But that snare drum is really what drives a syncopated rhythm. And even the hi-hat is on the and two, three and. Number two just moves the right stick from the hi-hat around the toms a little bit. So I'll play this fill. Number three continues to move that around the toms. It's neat when you have that repetitious there. Makes it even sound more syncopated. Number four moves that right stick to the crashes, and I'm also going to hit the bass drum with the crashes instead of the one, two, three, four. And I added the additional crash on count one, of course. Uh, it does sound good if you just play it on one cymbal. Of course, don't just stop with these four examples. You can move this pattern around any way you want. You know what? That one's even worth going over. That's just throwing a bass drum in between the two hi-hat strokes. That's kind of cool. So just in between the two hi-hats. Move that to the toms. I hope you have fun moving that pattern around the drum kit. Come up with your own ideas and even post maybe a video response of what you came up with. See you next Monday. Keep drumming.